Now, it might come as a surprise to you, but we at Team Golaremi believe that you should be training on your own consistently, whether you're forced to or not. Maybe you're in a global pandemic. Maybe you smell bad and no one wants to train with you. Regardless, Team Golaremi's got you. Let's go. It's the guys that make this a habit that don't get anything out of the game. Don't be this guy or girl. Why don't I just practice all of my shots from Japan, even though I live in France? Genius. If I dribble more and ignore everyone, I'll be unstoppable. Being distracted is awesome. Everybody who gets good at something never gives 100% of their concentration anyway. Dope. We all know people like this and we've all done this to an extent, so let's just have a plan. players, the game consists of three major factors, speed, strength, and most importantly, technical ability. Recovery, flexibility, and your mindset are the other keys to success, but that's for another video. We've got one of the most popular speed building videos in the world, and it's popular because it works. Despite what you've been told, you can considerably increase your speed with the right drills and some consistency. So here's our top ones for today. Now this drill will also improve your acceleration, which is key to getting the jump on any defender or any attacker, depending on your position. All of the mechanics for a good sprint are here. Find a bench or block and start with one foot up. Push up to jump and in mid air, switch feet to land on the opposite foot and immediately repeat. After you have a rhythm and flow to this, it will go very easily. It serves in a way as also single leg training, which we'll touch on a bit more here in a sec. Squats are a staple of any good training regimen and they obviously do more for the body than make you faster. But nevertheless, that's why we want them here today. We'll get some more explosive power out of them by adding a squat jump to our series. Expect to feel the burn here, but it's definitely worth it. Another quality drill you'll notice just like the box jumps were positioned more or less mimicking a running motion. We've got three kinds of lunges, the stationary lunge, the walking lunge, and some lunge jumps. On all of them, pay attention as much as possible to not extend the front knee past the ankle. We wanna go down at a 90 degree angle if we can maintain balance and then explode back up. This one is technically extra credit and you can of course do it without the aid of a wall or a pole to hold on to. But if you're new to this, work your way up. Many sprinters swear that by training their legs individually, it gives them an advantage. And I found that to be the case as well. This is a simple movement that doubles as a balance exercise and does wonders for the quad. So throw it in there if you can. Simplicity is key. 
We're at the field alone and we want to hit our key muscle groups. There are three essential body weight exercises to do that. Push-ups, planks, and back curls. If you think push-ups are boring, it's because you have not tried all of the modifications of which there are tons. Be sure to squeeze your core and your backside when you're going up and down. You can lift one leg while you're doing a set. You can do explosive push-ups and catch a clap in between. You can spin in circles from one way to another and tons, tons more. The same goes for planks where we want to do our best to hold firm generally for 30 seconds to a minute per rep before adding some sort of variation to test our body. Whether that's reaching a hand under, raising a leg, be sure to work both sides. Of course, the plank is one of the most quality exercises you can do for your abs and your posture, so make sure to do it and do it well. Regarding the back, it sometimes gets neglected since it's not the sexiest of movements, but anyone who's played on artificial grass for an extended period of time knows that the lower back is an area you want to keep in good condition. Now we've mixed it up with holds and pumps with the same idea of holding for at least 30 seconds to a minute per rep. That should generally be the standard for you and look to do stuff like the Superman. You can hold everything up at once. You can alternate from left arm to right leg and you can move from side to side. Now, we could go a million ways with this right here. There are actually an infinite number of drills we could do with the ball, from juggling, passing the ball off the wall. The idea is that we want to make things simple. So we are going to state that our goal for today is to sharpen our touch and increase our creative skill. If you've got cones, great. If not, grab four or five things you got laying around like a water bottle and set them up in a very simple fashion by listening to what this guy says right here. Put the ball down, we go straight into the cones, okay? So that means outside, inside touch, right foot, inside. So it goes back like this. This is the proper form. We get to the end here, we turn around immediately and quickly, and we go like this. There, 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 all right? Put the reps up for you. That is the initial start. That'll get you some touches. They'll get your coordination going, your agility going, and you'll be ready to ball. Now don't get us wrong. You can definitely train your finishing. You can definitely train your long balls or your passing. And we've done and made videos on all of that. So if you're interested, check out the 21 day challenge. For today, we wanted to get you to the root and core of what makes a good player. And that is by and large, his ability to manipulate the ball under pressure and create chances for himself and his team through creative play. Now that being said, what we're gonna do in the last drill called the goal army box, which some of you may recognize, it is a super baller drill and we grab the ball. We envision a whole host of players in front of us, around us, behind us, while dribbling at top speed, keeping the ball close and doing a move or feint and then exploding out in another direction only to then shield and repeat. Keep things quick, don't stay for too long in one area, but just imagine what it would be like if there are few or all of these players in and around you and how you can use your skill to your advantage. Done with no one there, we're setting the groundwork for practice and games where you'll need to execute with more precision. So do it well and enjoy your football. All right, guys, that's the vid. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out goalaremi.com where we've got all the stuff you need to be a better player. Sign up for Goalaremi Nation. Link is right down below, and we will see you guys later. Peace. Running through it with the young influence, had a lesson presses, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected, but the moves are loose, and I'm barely moving, but I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work away.